Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, what's happening on Bagley Street? No, we're not talking about an actual street named Bagley, although maybe there could be, but we're talking about Ed Bagley and their Beyond Certified Leads Home and the challenges that go on um, beyond it. Anyway, their new series on Evox. Yes, and they were streaming live last night. Oh, I guess we should get, okay, well, I guess there is news. We're gonna bring old Kim on now with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it's been over for the Republicans every day since the president became president of the United States. I, I did a thing this morning was I told people on Facebook that, that the Republican Party, the press, and Bill O'Reilly do not seem to understand that, that, that if you live in Queens, New York, you're not elected to service to support the people in Shelby, Alabama. Or if you're in Taos, New Mexico, you're not elected to support the views of the people in, Ber in Berkeley, California. But for some reason, the Republican Party and the press think, well, if, if you do the job you're elected to do, the public is going to throw you out of office. Uh, no, because the constituency that elected was going to say, you did exactly what we put you in to do. Mm -hmm. And Syria chemical weapons deal, path to disarmament or indefensible? It's indefensible. I just heard a guy talking about it. He said the people that are in charge of this at the United Nations are a nice bunch of people, but it's full of personnel that can't go there because the President of the United States specifically said there would be no American boots on the ground, and they said they've never been in a situation where there's a war going on. Oh, what Herbie Daddy also, this is Herbie Grandad, you know, in fact. He said, you know that they said that they have now moved the stuff into Iran, and they've moved it into Iraq, and they've moved it into... Uh, Lebanon and they moved it into Jordan. Isn't that amazing? Uh, so they said that basically Assad can let you come in the middle of war zone and destroy the eight places that they know about. Of course, they're going to get killed if they do it, but uh, wanna, they're going to go wear blue helmets and drive down the streets with huge things for destroying chemical weapons, mm -hmm. which means everybody's going to shoot at them, folks. I mean, that, anybody know how Michael Caine got shot in the rear? Mm -hmm. Michael Caine was in the... Uh, it was in, the UN forces at Cyprus, and his, he said his butt stuck out from behind a tree. They, they shot him, and he said, I'm a peacekeeper, folks, I'm not armed. They, they still shot him in the butt. And Obama has made fools out of the Republicans again. Oh, yeah. Well, because they said that he put this deal over on the Republicans who weren't going to allow, vote to, to let him go to war. Um, his problem wasn't with the Republicans because they were supporting attacking. The problems with the Democrats who didn't support him whatsoever and are really pissed off about him being the most militaristic Democrat that they've had in office since uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. And fewer airline jobs, U.S. carriers trim ranks by 2.4 percent. Isn't that amazing? And I just read that, didn't they just make this announcement that United Airlines was calling back pilots to man planes that they didn't, weren't flying? No, it was Obama basically trying to jack up the uh, I don't know, the employed figures. Okay, here it is. The people are cutting back on going anywhere, and especially now since they found out that if you take a computer out of this country, the United States government can seize your computer and you don't get it back until what? they decide to give it back to you. Yeah. What? Yeah, that the uh, for national security. So now what it said that what happens is. You, if you're going to work, you actually have to use the cloud services like HP or Microsoft or, oh my or gosh. Adobe in order to put your stuff that you can get access to it, which means if we, we go to Kansas what? next year, we're going to have to buy new equipment when we get there in order to be able to use it, which means new software, everything. Oh my god. Yeah, because they, they, they said that people are still fighting in court to get computers back. That would be really bad. Yeah, and then they're wiping the computers too, so. What? Yeah. But they don't want you to know what they've done to your computer, so. Well, I guess if that isn't the best reason for the cloud service. Yeah, I know that people, basically, this is sort of an advertisement. Anybody here to the, of the software Armageddon, you're going to be hearing a lot of that software in the future because it's designed to prevent the people from entering your computer without your permission. Oh, well, that would be good. And Iran congratulates Obama. Syrian chemical weapons deal sign of U.S. rationality. I know. This is a good one. When the Iranian president con congratulates the president of the United States on his good sense, you know you're on the wrong side of every <laughs> issue. I mean, that's, that's like 
Bill O'Reilly <laughs> going to um, you know going to the NCAA and going to the NCAA people, whatever it is, the National Coalition of National Security people, going there and telling everybody that this man is so great he could be white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Obama will deal on the budget, not on the debt limit. ABC oh, he ABC. just said this morning, which got him. I mean, you don't talk about, even one of the Democrats said, he said since this man has been president, he has not met with the Republicans. He refuses to meet with the Republicans. And the reason why we have met, most of the problems we have on the debt ceiling is because, and the budget is he totally has no intentions of dealing with them, and yet he said that it's getting very long in the truth, the press reporting. Once again, the, press, the Republicans have put an end to thing. Like, like on, a, on, a, on the thing yesterday, they had the Republicans at no time have put up any answer to repealing Obama. Only 41 times have they put up a thing on how to hand, what to do if it's repealed. Yeah. And, but, yeah. Said this, right? yes. and Merkel urges Germans to welcome Syrian refugees. Yeah, like that's, they want more Muslims in those countries. They don't want them in those countries. <laughs> well, because they don't obey the laws that are written. They refuse to obey them. And Obama water campaign raises environmental issue. Uh, yeah, because it seems that basically uh, Michelle Obama has decided to put her foot into the people's water systems in the country and want everything changed to suit her her requirements and not the requirements that. It, okay, there is X amount. Like here's the thing: is a guy running, uh, a Democrat running for an election campaign is at the very bottom of the list because his campaign is simply to put chlorine in the water and swimming pools so that the swimming pools in his city are worse off than toilets because they can't put chlorine in them because people sue them. And it's not environmentally friendly to put chlorine in the water. And USS Nimitz carrier group rerouted for possible help with Syria. Yep, because they're getting... Obama's planning to attack folks. I mean, this guy is, is going to do it whether he gets... And he's not going to get permission. The, Senate, the, the Democrats are still not going to give him permission, and the Republicans basically are, you know, all he done, here's what they said, his, his full court press trying to convince people that he's right and everybody else is wrong has totally failed. They said that Putin, Assad full court press, has worked ten times better than Obama's. Mm. And Merkel's conservatives triumphed in Bavaria. Yeah, they triumphed and they lost seats, which, which means Merkel cannot afford to lose any more seats at the next election, which is next, I think it's next week, or she's out of office. They've lost so many seats to the opposition. And Detroit considers pushing its retirees into health exchanges, lawyer. Yeah, this is all the Democratic-ran communities in the United States are going to, the, are going to dump their, dump their health care plans and put them on the federal plan, which can't be paid for. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. And first of all, they're all suing because we're guaranteed, okay, we are paying into a, which means we're going to continue to pay into something that is less than what we had before, and it's going to cost us more than it cost us before, and that is not what is in the contracts that we have for, for health care, and, and, and so they'll lose that one in the court. Obama knows they will. And French far right aims for success at local and EU elections. They're going to throw the president of France out because he wants to take France into a war that the people don't want. And U.S. strike will trigger reactions beyond Syria and Iran. Well, yeah, because the, what happens is, that, here's what they're talking about. It's going to happen with the uh, American people and our government because when Obama decides to unilaterally attack Iran, uh, attack Syria, our country, here's what the person said, the what Democrats are now talking about Joe Biden as president. And they're not talking as Joe Biden as president in 216 because they want Hillary. They're talking now Joe Biden as president. Mm. And Erdogan closer to Turkish presidency with allies public backing. Well, yeah, the, he, he really doesn't have public backing. This is a guy that wants to turn the country in. Okay, um, the person that created the Turk, modern Turkey state created a secular country of which all people would basically have the same rights. This guy, Aragon, basically only believes in Muslim rights and he wants to make the country a Muslim nation under Sharia law, which means every, I mean, okay, the tourist industry dies because women cannot go to the beaches in Turkey, which is what brings in most of the money. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, a house of cards is a house of cards, no matter what you end up calling it. 